Hey, everyone, this is Goldie again. Thank you for joining in. Welcome to the Google Conflicting Accounts video series. In the last videos, we have uh, uh, discussed what are conflicting accounts, what are the options for us to resolve them. And in this video, we will take one of those options and go for conflicting account resolution. So let me share my screen here. And these are the two options that we discussed. One was, uh, you know, sending an email transfer request to the user and other was creating a user right away. And we understood that uh, when we create a user uh, in uh, Google Admin Console, the personal account will be renamed, but the data will stay there. Work account will be created with clean state. One quick thing before you take this approach to create users instantly, just remember that there will be no data transfer from consumer account to work account. So only do that if you are sure that there is no data in those consumer accounts or maybe there is data but you don't care. Uh, I have seen some customers taking this approach that they do the internal survey after finding these conflicting accounts as we saw in the last video where they send internal survey to these users asking them if they have any corporate data in these consumer accounts and then based on their response they decide whether they should go with this option which is to create their accounts from clean state or go with another option which is to send them a data transfer request that i will cover in the next video so in this uh, video i want to go ahead and show you the uh, demo of uh, what exactly happens if we go with uh, this option so i will first log into my uh, google consumer account which has created with this email which is austin at id.goldero.com which is my domain and i lived in austin by the way for a few months beautiful place when i click on next uh, it will ask me for password i'm going to put my password here and i am now logged into my google consumer account that i created with my company's domain when i go to google drive for example you will see that i have put some sample documents and images here and now what i'm going to do is i will go to my google work admin console and we'll create this account and i will try to resolve that conflict so i will log out from this account and i will go to my admin console use another account the admin account here and now i'm in my admin console i will click on add a new user okay and here we will say austin whatever austin uh, and here i will let's say random password okay Get passwords let's copy this put this password here okay Oops. and let's keep this so now as expected it shows that there was a conflict okay but as we are talking about this second option I want to show you what happens so I'll go ahead and create this new user account with that email because I own this domain, so Google will give me precedence and I can go ahead and create and claim this email address. So I will click on continue. Okay, it says that user has been created. If I go to Austin here, I should be able to search for him and I can assign licenses, apply policies to him, etc. That's done. So now let's log into Austin's consumer account and let's see what we see here. So I will go to uh, accounts.google.com uh, put Austin's email address here Okay, and click next and it will ask for password But before that it shows me that there are two accounts Associated with that email one is the Google work account that we just created in our admin console and Another one is the personal account that Austin had before we created him a work account. So first let's log into the uh, work account and you will see that i'm going to put the password that i uh, put when i was creating that user so i will go ahead and click next because this is the first time austin is logging to his work account so he will see terms of service he's going to accept it and now this is uh, the account that is admin provided to him okay because he can see all these third-party apps which are also 
assigned to him. So now I will log out here. Okay, remove an account. Okay, and this time let's put Austin's email again. And again, I see that message. And this time we're gonna log into his personal account and let's see what we see here. When I click on personal Google account, the password that we had, this one will not work because that's the password for his work account. And let me click on next, it says wrong password, okay? So let me put the uh, password for uh, his personal account. And this is what Austin sees. It says your account has changed. Address is no longer available because your organization has reserved this address because they own this domain okay don't worry your data is safe austin uh, your password and security settings will remain the same and he can click here and see which uh, services is being used and then what kind of account you would like so he has two options now option number one is that you can click here and select gmail account okay so that he also gets email so his email address can be whatever at gmail.com if that username is available another option is he can take any other account for example you know austin at yahoo.com or austin at abc or example.com and he can claim uh, that address of course if he goes with this option he will need to verify that he owns that email and he won't be able to get gmail but rest should be available so uh, I will just go ahead and click on this and click continue or I can do this later as well. If I click on do this later, every time Austin logs in, he will be presented with that screen, which means he cannot now log in with Austin at id.goldira.com, which is his work account. The only way for him to log into that account is to put his work password and then he will be logged into his work account. So I hope that this was helpful. And by the way, uh, you will see that his data, for example, in Drive, we had few files. If I go to Drive, I see all those files here. So his data is retained. Nothing has changed. It's just that his email uh, address, that's, that's changed. It has converted into something like, you know, Austin, percentage domain name at gtempaccount.com so he can rename this address next time and he logs in and claim either a gmail account uh, for free at gmail.com or maybe another account or another email that he has on any other domain so i hope this was helpful in the next video we will take another route or another we will explore another option uh, which is to send uh, transfer uh, data request to a user who has a consumer account so that this user can convert his consumer account to a work account and also move all the data that he had in consumer account. So for that, stay tuned. In case if you have any questions, comments or feedback, do not hesitate to put that under this video and I will be happy to collaborate with that. Thank you so much.